This is Matt Glendinning, Moses Brown's head of school. Over the past two years, the Moses Brown community has undertaken a rigorous, inclusive, and joyful process of strategic planning. Our goal has been to identify and preserve MB's historic strengths and values, while at the same time aspiring toward a bold future, one that responds to the changing conditions of the world outside our gates. Using some of the proven tools of strategic planning, and most recently, a series of public forums called Discernment Dialogues, we've been exploring an important question. Hundreds of faculty, staff, parents, students, and alumni have participated in this visioning process, together with outside experts from the fields of business, science, art and design, education, and healthcare. For the benefit of those who haven't been able to be involved, I've asked some community members to narrate a short overview of our emerging plans. The basic premise behind our work has been this. Things are changing, and quickly. The world is both expanding and shrinking, as new forms of technology and communication bring distant cultures and economies into closer contact than ever before. We believe that a part of our purpose at Moses Brown involves preparing today's children to be tomorrow's leaders. The challenge, of course, is that the careers our students may aspire to may not even exist yet. What kinds of information, what skills and values would best prepare them for such an uncertain future? We believe that the values of a Quaker-based liberal arts education are as relevant and potent now as they were when the school was founded in 1784. Our job at the board level is to ensure that MB remains true to its historic strengths while also being innovative for the future. Research undertaken by MB suggests that what will be valued and rewarded in an increasingly digital future is not so much expertise or accumulated knowledge, but rather what we call expert thinking, the ability to do something useful and creative with that knowledge. Future leaders must possess global and intercultural awareness, the ability to speak other languages and to work with those from different backgrounds. The world is sorely in need of a generation of leaders with a strong sense of personal integrity. Quaker education has always excelled at promoting ethical leadership, and this is an important focus for MB now more than ever. We believe that these three characteristics, emerging from two years of dialogue and closely aligned with our Quaker heritage, should serve as a sort of North Star, guiding Moses Brown development over the next five to ten years. Having attended six different discernment dialogues this fall, I almost felt like I should be getting frequent flyer miles. I think that what we're imagining for MB could significantly strengthen the school's ability to carry out its mission, to inspire the inner promise of each student, and instill the utmost care for learning, people, and place. MB is trying to find ways to make our liberal arts curriculum even better with methods and programs that help with things like expert thinking, global awareness, and ethical leadership. I see Moses Brown from myriad perspectives. I'm a teacher, a mother of an MB student, and I grew up in a Quaker school. What I know and love about our school is that it seeks to offer hands-on, experiential learning designed to foster critical and creative thinking and collaborative problem solving. This is a program that will evolve as we do, ensuring an education that is not only pragmatic, but thrilling. To help students thrive in a world that is both expanding and shrinking, MB will seek to create an integrated series of courses, units of study, service initiatives, and travel programs that foster civic engagement and help students explore cultures, life experiences, and worldviews different from their own. MB has a long history of excellent financial management. Looking into the future, we want to make a major investment in our most precious resource, the students. Moses Brown's goal, as always, is to enroll the most talented and diverse student body regardless of financial circumstances. One of MB's top priorities, clearly, is to have the best teachers available. The strategies we discussed at the Discernment Dialogues are promising. Sustaining leadership and salaries, endowing teaching positions, growing MB's innovative cohort model for evaluation, and increasing annual professional development funding. MB will continue to steward its historic campus while at the same time exploring innovative new teaching spaces. We're exploring the feasibility of a flexible, multi-use facility that can gather up to 500 people for a variety of events. We love our lower school and MB is considering an addition that would include early childhood classrooms and spaces for us to be creative and work together. 
We are researching a new kind of learning space called an iLab, a workshop for collaborative project-based experimentation for all disciplines in all grade levels. As you've just heard, conversations from this fall's discernment dialogues were robust and the feedback exceedingly helpful. Over the course of this winter, MB's board and administrative team will continue to gather feedback, using it to clarify our priorities and codify them into a new strategic plan for Moses Brown. I want to thank everyone who has shared their time and wisdom with us during this process, and I welcome your continued thinking on our emerging vision.